Hi right, YouTube, uh, this is Jerry and Dan from Rampaws RCs. I um, was just doing some filming of Dan's uh, Cyclone. Um, he removed the whole styrofoam body and he just put a little, it's like a... Flower a, plant liner. Yeah, a liner for a flower pot. And it's like way lighter. So you'll see some of the footage of this thing flying around. And uh, this is what I got. And uh, we just got done flying it, but unfortunately I record with most of my phone and I had to have it on the controller. Um, but there will be some film work on this. Um, I'm thinking about doing an un unboxing I filmed, but I don't know, it's freaking, everything was like blurred out white. Because uh, I had the camera in the driveway pointing inside the garage, yeah. So I just cut it out. But this fucking airplane right here flies the sickest I've ever flown of any quadcopter ever. <laughs> it is amazing. Uh, so what'd you think about it, Dan? I thought it was amazing. Oh, this shit. thing is just thing. extremely amazing. You don't even know how. You don't even have to know how to fly. <laughs> I mean, we do practice a little bit, but we, I wouldn't call ourselves experts. We just people more to have fun. And that thing is amazing. It has precise controls. I would. If I could afford the money it costs to fly that, I would buy that airplane it, or a helicopter, quadcopter, excuse me. That thing is amazing. That's all I can say. It's amazing. <laughs> it Easy is. Easy to fly and amazing. It's pretty sick. And uh, I got to admit, it is. It flies like butter. So. <laughs> so on my uh, Cyclone, as you can see, I just kind of cut the hoops off of it and left the main body. But we had a little mishap today. The wind kind of picked up. I was at a different location and just sent this thing flying right into the side of my car and broke it off. But that's okay. That's kind of an easy fix. A little super glue and a little tape and counterbalancing. <laughs> and uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, well, thank you for watching. And Hope you subscribe again, subscribe, uh, or hit the like button. And uh, I guess that's it, Jack. Got that on film for the insurance. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this thing sucks compared to that. That's when I tried to fly mine earlier. I was kind of having a hard time. Well, one, because of the wind was crazy, but two is because I'm used to being able to drive that one where it's like nothing. These you got to kind of really work at it more.
Oh, uh, that's going to be bright when I play it back. <laughs> But I found that with mine, I could fly it the same way like the uh, Phantom, just a forward and then left and right. And it's, it's, it's exactly, it's a little more sensitive. What I should do is go back over this way. But I don't keep pointing in that sound. That's what I do on that simulator. Because <laughs> on that simulator, you could also record your flying. Oh, that's all right. Oh wait, keep doing that. <laughs> it's all right, dude. Don't worry about it. This car hasn't been washed since the day I got it, <laughs> except for the bird poop when I get it. But I ain't no big thing. That was a parking lot. You have worse than parking lot dings. These are like more work to fly, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then on that simulator I got, you try to fly some of the ones that are like the the six motors and the eight motor ones. Dude, they're like intense trying to fly. Because they have, like, I think they have like zero self-stability or whatever they use. They call it gyros or whatever. They're, they're just as hard to fly as a regular helicopter. Awesome. The other ones that don't have none of that stabilization, they're just as hard as a regular helicopter to fly.